Today I'm standing at the uh, at Tecolote Canyon City Park on the east side of Mission Bay. Uh, we're standing right at the southwest corner of this park. Uh, we came here to see evidence of the geology of the Rose Canyon Fault and the formation, geologic formations involved. Uh, behind me you can see a white sign, interpretive sign, sits right on the fault line uh, with two separate formations on either side of the fault. On the left side of the fault, uh, that light-colored formation is the Scripps Formation. It's crisscrossed with little red streaks. Uh, to the right of the sign is a more massive buff-colored formation, non-unstreaked exposure of the Bay Point Formation. Uh, the fault line itself uh, is the dividing line between those two fractures. Uh, we've moved over to the left into the formation uh, that has the light color with red streaks. That's known as the Scripps Formation. Scripps Formation is a marine formation. It was formed offshore from a continent uh, in a sh somewhat shallow sea bottom. The material is a very, very fine sand with a fair amount of clay and some white calcareous material called caliche. Scripps Formation is full of little red fractures. Those uh, fractures are cracks in the formation. Uh, the red is from iron oxide that percolated down in through this formation uh, after the Pleistocene uplift of the coastline of San Diego. Uh, water percolating this light-colored formation was carrying a lot of dissolved iron. It precipitated out uh, in the cracks uh, to make those red stains and streaks. So that's the Scripps Formation. For a nice exposure of the Bay Point Formation, uh, which is on the uh, west side of the Rose Canyon Fault Line. See, there's uh, quite a difference uh, between the two formations. Uh, I'm holding a piece of this Bay Point Formation. It's all kind of uniformly brown, a uh, very homogeneous in composition. Uh, in other words, not a lot of big grains and small grains. And it's, it's okay. also uh, very crumbly and uh, friable. I'm able to break it in my hands. Occasionally, within the Bay Point Formation, though, there are uh, hard sandstone concretions that you can't break up, and uh, they're often full of bay type of fossils. So here's a close-up of a piece of the Bay Point Formation. Uh, we see it's uh, crumbly. Uh, it's uh, much, much softer than uh, most of the formations, and also much younger than uh, the formations uh, here on the east side of Mission Bay. Bay Point Formation was a bay deposit. It was deposit in the floor of, of a much larger Mission Bay that used to exist here early in the Pleistocene. In other words, uh, over 500,000 years ago to a million years ago, uh, this was the material in the floor of Mission Bay. Bay Point Formation uh, is famous as a fossil collecting formation. There are locations around the edge of Crown Point uh, that gives the formation its name uh, that is full of fossils. Bay Point Formation, Bay Point being Crown Point, was where this formation was originally described. And on the uh, uh, southwest corner of Crown Point, uh, along the cliff banks, uh, there are uh, very thick beds of fossils, especially scallops and sand dollars. Uh, over here near uh, the, the backside of Mission Bay, uh, at the mouth of Teclody Canyon, uh, the formation is kind of massive, doesn't have as many fossils, except in hard sandstone concretions found within this softer sand. If you were to break open those concretions, you would find bay type of fossils, especially little clams and snails. Teclody Canyon City Park on the east side of Mission Bay came here to see evidence of the geology of the Rose Canyon Fault.